Hey, champ, it's Steph. You will not believe the monstrosity my father is having assembled in the ring tonight. When he said it would be a cage match, I didn't think... Well, you'll see for yourself. It's just another example of how out of touch he is with today's WWE. And you're gonna prove it tonight, when you beat his hand-picked legend and walk out of there with that title still around your waist. I'll see you later. I've got to say, in all my years in this business, this might be the single biggest match I've ever called. And King, I don't think I even have to ask who you're pulling for in this match. What's that supposed to mean, JR? Are you suggesting that just because I'm an all-time legend in my own right, that that means I'm automatically gonna root for old school versus new school? Boy, you figured me out, King. Not only are you a legend in your own time, but you're a legend in your own mind, too. It goes without saying that the champion may well be in for the fight of his life here tonight in this title match. If it goes without saying, then why'd you say it? We all know he's going up against someone who's no stranger to championship gold, someone who's one of the greatest superstars of all time. Well, certainly one of the greatest of his era. Listen to yourself, JR. You and the champion are both about to learn tonight that like fine wine, some things only improve with age. and some dry ice to impress me. And how about going 14 and 0 at WrestleMania, King? How about being a four-time WWE champion? Does that impress you? Now, come on, JR. I'm not saying that the dead man doesn't have one or two impressive achievements to his name. I just think he's taken too seriously for a grown man who dresses like it's Halloween every day. One or two? There's a reason they call him the Phenom King. He's been one of the most dominant WWE superstars for his entire career. He came in at the top, and he stayed there ever since. Well, The Undertaker might have had a pretty good ride, but I think 13 years is his unlucky number. I think it's only a matter of time before someone buries the dead man. Wow! Listen to these fans, JR! You can fool some of the people all of the time, and all the people some of the time, but there's no fooling the WWE fans at all. This is going beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars, look at this, King. He just stole his opponent's finishing maneuver. I've got to say, JR, I'm really impressed by what we've seen here tonight. How could you not be, King? These are some of the finest athletes in all of sports entertainment. I know that, JR. This is a risky move. It could prove to be disastrous. Oh, boy. These top rope moves can go either way. So, how do you think 
this one's going to turn out, JR. Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. In wow, what a shot! He's been busted wide open! That's going to need stitches for sure. Stitches, hell! That might mean the end of this match. He's risking serious injury by continuing to compete. There's no rewards without risk, JR. And these are WWE superstars. They're not going to stop the match just because of a little blood. I tell you, King, sometimes I get exhausted just watching these superstars compete. I know what you mean, JR. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. You've got to have some excellent conditioning to be able to do what they do. Well, that's the name of the game, JR. You gotta keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, that's a lovely image, King. I'd ask you where you'd come up with this stuff, but I don't think I want to know, quite frankly. Unless his opponent gets him down from there quickly, this one's over. Now that's what you call one for the books. The champion has retained his title in a great clash of old versus new, of classic versus contemporary. I can't believe some of the things he did in there. That's no way to treat a legend. Talk about having no respect. I couldn't disagree more, King. I think the champion showed an enormous amount of respect for his challenger. Neither one went easy on the other. I don't know if they, they would have had it any other way. Well, we're going to have to agree to disagree about it. There's Stephanie McMahon, and she's got to be feeling pretty good. What the hell? Look, that's... that's... that's Rowdy Roddy Piper! I know who it is, King, but what the hell is he doing here? And what does he want with Stephanie McMahon? Someone's got to get back there right now! He's abducting the Billion Dollar Princess! Stop him! Mr. McMahon, I can't imagine what you must be feeling right now. Believe that. You're damn right you can't. I... I'll leave you to it. You! Well, I hope you're happy with yourself. I want you to know that I hold you personally responsible for my daughter's kidnapping. Me? Listen, man. No, you listen. All the showboating you've been doing, and not once did you stop to think of the consequences. Only one man has ever really been able to keep Roddy Piper in check, and you destroyed him in the main event Monday night. Vince, I had no you're idea. You're damn right you didn't. Now you're going to help me get my daughter back and undo the damage you've done, or so help me, Al. She's my only daughter. Please. I'm begging you as a father, help me get my little girl back. I'll, uh, I'll give you the night off to think about where you want to go from here. I I'll expect to see you on Raw this coming Monday. That's all for now. Hey, champ. It's Hot Rod. <laughs> I bet you I'm the last guy you expected to hear from, didn't you, huh? 
I hear that uh, old Vince has drafted you into helping him with his little princess and getting her back. I know, I know. He made a big show of it to you, didn't he? All oh, first angry, you know, and that varicose vein in his nose thumping, and then showing that soft, delicate side, that feminine side he has. Did he shed a tear, huh? Oh, I bet he did. Oh. Well, listen up. Vince McMahon doesn't give a damn about you. I was one of his biggest stars. But did I get a call when he started bringing in these so-called legends? No! He uses people and throws them away when he's done, just like he'll do to you. And as soon as he gets his little girl back, you will be mud. So here's my counteroffer. I've got something he wants that gives me power over him. You work with me, and we control the most powerful man in sports entertainment. So what do you say, champ, huh? I know it would be really stupid. I just heard that bastard Roddy Piper's been contacting the legends I control and trying to turn them against me. Well, it's time to show them that you don't screw with Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Roddy Piper was just sighted at a bar trying to convince Cactus Jack to join him. I want you to head over there and beat the hell out of them if you find them there.
you're going to believe this, but I just saw Roddy Piper on a security monitor talking to Bam Bam Bigelow in the parking lot. He didn't even try to stop the son of a bitch who kidnapped my daughter. Get down there right now and stop him by any means necessary. I've got some worthless security personnel to fire. Listen up, I just heard that Roddy Piper actually has the grapefruits to show up tonight on Raw. Obviously, we're going to have a little surprise waiting for him. I know that you and Hogan haven't always been on the best of terms, but he's always been able to keep Roddy Piper in line. So I'm going to cover my bets and have both of you ready to go after him when he comes to the ring. We'll call it a no-DQ handicap match so that no one goes to jail. 
but I want you to make that son of a bitch pay for what he's done to me. King, I cannot believe what we're seeing here. The man who kidnapped Mr. McMahon's daughter, Stephanie, is walking down to the ring that Mr. McMahon owns. I used to think that Mr. McMahon had some grapefruits, but this guy makes them look like raisins. Fruits and vegetables aside, I've got to believe that this man has something a little extra up his sleeve tonight. Why else would he give himself up like this? It just doesn't make any sense. And if he's here, where is Stephanie McMahon? You expect him to make sense? Don't be ridiculous, JR. Nothing he does makes sense, especially kidnapping Vince McMahon's daughter. And here come Mr. McMahon's hand-picked enforcers two of the greatest superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. And they proved that just a few weeks ago in a championship bout. That's right, JR. The last time we saw these guys, they weren't exactly friendly. But you know what they say about the enemy of my enemy? Or at least the enemy of Mr. McMahon's enemy. He's your friend. Well, with Stephanie still missing, I'm sure that Mr. McMahon has these two superstars in the same library tonight if not exactly on the same page. Welcome to Raw, coming to you from the land of the Razorbacks, Little Rock, Arkansas. Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Long. Little Rock can't wait to see the Raw superstars. This show's been sold out for weeks. These Little Rock fans know that Raw never disappoints, and tonight is no exception. I can't wait to get started. My God, a thunderous blow from that sledgehammer. Man, talk about getting hammered. A slumber knocker of a shot with that sledgehammer. That'll rearrange your facial features for sure, JR. Here's the pin. Could this be it? One, two. A count of two, and the referee's hand was coming down for the three. Oh, man. Did you hear that chair shot, JR? I'd be surprised if there was a single person in this arena who didn't see. So, JR, are you enjoying the match so far? Yes, I am. I think these superstars are putting on more than the hell of an ex- Oh, man. Don't tell me he's about to do what I think he's about to do. Tombstone Pound Driver. My God, what an impact. He's going for the cover, JR. Sounds like this crowd's got something on their minds, King. Who cares about them, JR? Look what's going on in the ring. Undertaker. I don't think there is. Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? There's no way the Undertaker's gonna win this match. Just look at it. Oh, I am, King. I'm looking at one of the most awesome forces I've ever seen in a WWE uh Oh, talk about a hole you don't want to find yourself in. No kidding. This will rearrange your anatomy. If I live to be 100, I'll never understand why they leave so many damn weapons under the ring. It's always like they want the superstar to use the morning jug. Good grief! I don't care how tough you are. A chair shot! 
shot is a chair shot. And you can't take too many of those and expect to continue. Did you ever... He's got that submission hole locked in. He sure does, JR. He might make his opponent tap out right here. It looks like he's had enough. Too bad for him his opponents don't agree. Look at this. It's Stephanie McMahon. She's here. She's okay. What the hell? He's got to have a death wish or something. What in the Sam Hill's going on here? It looks like Stephanie McMahon is is working with the man who kidnapped her. Mr. McMahon must be watching this. Why doesn't he do something? Guys, can you believe the main event we have here tonight on SmackDown? This might be the biggest main event we've ever had, and for a number of different reasons. No doubt, Cole. Let's see. It's a title match. It's got one of the all-time greats, Roddy Roddy Piper, and it's all about Stephanie McMahon being kidnapped and then joining up with the guy who kidnapped her, who I guess didn't kidnap her after all. And we've just been informed that at Mr. McMahon's request, this is going to be a first blood match. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. You know what? I hear I say this a lot, but not for nothing. This match is gonna be one hell of a rocket buster. Not only is the champion's title on the line here in this first blood match, but a lot of pride is as well. Absolutely. The McMahons and Piper made him look like an idiot this week on Raw. But still, title or not, the champion is going to be looking to collect on some good old-fashioned payback. And a first blood match is the ideal place to find it. The match doesn't end until one superstar is wearing the proverbial crimson mask. It's a mean, nasty, vicious match, and it's right up these guys' alleys. And can you imagine it, Cole? If Piper wins the match, it will be the first time that he has won the title. And it'll happen right here on SmackDown. I'm Michael Cole alongside Taz, and we welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. 
No doubt, no doubt, Cole. Tonight, the Rose City's gonna get its face rocked. And I can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. Watch it. He reversed it. Oh, man. I don't think that it was ever meant to be used like that. Maybe not, Cole, but I'll tell you what. It seems to be doing a trick. Yeah. Oh, my God. Someone's got to stop yeah. this. We'll start getting screamish on me, Cole. Inflicting pain is the name of the game. Each of these competitors is looking for the... Oh, God. I think every guy watching this knows how painful this has got to be. Well, except you, Cole. I know I do. And in times like these, I'm glad to stay on this side of the announce table. It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds, Taz. Yeah, and thousands of paying customers can't be wrong. of his style, his offense, is about getting inside that. You never know what you're going to find under the ring. I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he used it for, and that's all that really matters. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, it'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. And you decided to shut the gap for a few seconds. Back in there, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturbed you. Man, it, I'll tell you what, man. This one's just turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it kind of took me by surprise, Cole. Now, he's driven his opponent's face directly into those steel ring steps. And it don't look like the ring steps came off the worst floor. Wow, great reversal. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Cole. The WWE fans ain't exactly known for keeping their opinions to themselves. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but he can only stay on top of the mountain for so long. And the, I don't know, he's putting a lot on the line going up there. Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to do... Oh my God! Stephanie's affiliation with Rowdy Rowdy Piper has come to an end. Well, these McMahons, they're, uh, what do you call, uh, fix, you know. Uh-oh, careful, champ. It's never a good idea to put your hands on a boss's daughter. I think Mr. McMahon wants the champ to let go of Stephanie. Well, somebody should have told Mr. McMahon to be careful what he wishes for. Because he just got it. I don't believe it. He just threw Stephanie McMahon out of her family's own ring. And the crowd loves it. That's a gutsy move for sure, Cole. But I ain't sure that's one of the smartest ones he could have made. He might have won this round, but if I know the McMahons, they ain't going to let this one slide. Maybe not, Taz. But for tonight at least, the champ has beaten the McMahons at their own game.